What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. We're going to be doing the second part commercial window film application. This is a set of doors and I have pre-cut. I showed you previously on this, this manhandler that I created where I had the roll of film there and dispense the film, cut it. These are the pieces that I cut for both of the doors. Now, additionally, once I get all my cuts done on all the doors or windows in a home, I place them, you know, strategically where they need to go. And this one, I just need a very small little step thing to go up here and uh, reverse roll my film. So the good thing is that I always bring my little ladder thing because I can hold my water here, I can hold my napkins here, and I can unroll my film. And additionally, this right here serves as a holder of this window film before I dispense it. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. So if I have two windows in one section, I can have two of them here, two pieces here, and I did in the SpaceX project. There is multiple windows at the top. So I held them here, reverse rolled them, and I didn't need to go up and down the ladder and all that kind of stuff. So let me go ahead and continue now and show you uh, some of the tips and tricks for cutting these recess windows, because I think it's important not only how to uh, use some of these tools, but also how to do some of the uh, pre-cuts by yourself, reverse rolling or whatever other method you think you might want to do. Okay, so I already pre-cleaned all this window with um, with a Triumph, where is it? He's down there, that red one down there on my tank. And I already put him away in the vest. So now all we're gonna do is just pre-clean the window and reverse roll it. So let's go ahead and get it done. Tienes la garra verde, campeón? Sí. Presta una, ¿no? You can do it with a stool or any of that stuff. And uh, if you have your tank or anything, whatever you use, polys. All right, so he's pretty much done there. I'm gonna put him here away. I'm gonna use a little rag. Touch all these areas here. There you go. Touch the areas where my film more than likely will will be touching because I'm going to overlap them half an inch all the way around. And then do my final cut. bottom here we're pretty much done use a nozzle that'll be uh, applying enough water but not flooding the whole home Reverse rolling this guy right here. way ready for the peel okay 
focus on your top because I know that the bottom kind of went haywire and it's cool. We're going to leave it there and let's go ahead and focus on this top and make sure that our film is distributed properly. That half inch that I mentioned to you, I'm going to remove this liner and get my film situated where I need them. There we go. Okay, so I'm exactly where I need to be at. Half inch all over, sides, sides. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom. Before I go to the bottom, I'm gonna go and lock them here momentarily. There you go. Do my thing on the bottom. I tell you. All this part on the bottom is super clean because well, we did clean it. We've got plenty of juice, plenty of water. There you go. We're gonna do our pre-cut all in one bang. So our pre-cut here is only gonna consist of one of these clicks. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy out because I know he's already spent. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this right here. Corner click. And let's go ahead and walk him all the way across. Just use the frame as your ruler. He's done there. Hold them. Use your frame as your ruler. And keep your cut straight. There he is. Just gonna go out just like that. This guy right here. Hold him and then just walk him on down slowly here. Straight. Keep your angle straight. And the same thing that you do cutting straight, you're gonna continue that cut down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this right here because I hate contamination coming from the top down and ruining my good install okay so we're done there i'm going to use this guy right here always use them to lock this top absorb all that water with your rag lint-free rag dry 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 I know some people use hard cards and all that. I use my all-in-one and be done. Okay, so I'm done there. I'm just gonna go to the bottom and finish my cuts. Just like that. Put them to the side. Walk them straight down, all the way down. Don't move your hands, don't move nothing, just a good straight cut. So whatever, whatever Mickey Mouse small gap you might have is going to be the thickness of the blade and nothing else. As you can see there, here, same straight cut all the way down. As you can see, just keep him straight. He won't betray you. Use the guy as a ruler. There he is, and then we're going to continue our cut here to the right, from right there. Ride the ledge on the bottom here, and then from here, that corner, here, and to the left. So you have successfully then one trim all the way, one pass all the way around with uh, just one click. Let's go ahead and do this. Keep about half an inch of water on the side. Do not finish them off, and I'll show you why. Mueve eso por allá, por favor. Tranque, vamos a quitarlo. Okay. All right, and I'll show you why to keep half an inch from the side right now. 
about that much. If you have a preference, you can use a wider squeegee if you want, but pretty much with this speed, everything's gonna be pretty, pretty quick. This is my Torx 2 by Dirty Tools. You can use Torx 1, Torx 2. It's really not a, it's not a big window. It's not a hard thing to do. So I'm looking at any water left behind. There is none. So to me, that'll suffice. So we're done. And this is your half inch all the way around, which I mentioned to you. We're gonna go ahead and use this tool. Go ahead and lock it like this. And let's go ahead and check out the side. You can see the quality of the same cut. Contamination is not there because we prepped it and we dried it with a lint-free towel. And just go ahead and walk it around just like that. And continue your thing to the bottom. And pretty much success. Sometimes this gummy thing, when you do and you try to do this on the side, it might grab the film and a line of shit will come out and you're gonna have contamination into your film. And so this one is just a little bit different. And I think I've utilized it successfully over the years that I can see I don't get no contamination. So this right here, touch this on the side for the water that might seep back in. I'm gonna go to the side, do the same thing. Door walking, door walking, door walking. And just continue small steps don't be in a hurry because then you're gonna mess something up and you're not gonna like what you see so we're done there all the way to the edge all the way down I'm gonna dry it with this again absorb some of the water that's kind of like running down slowly and then finish off again with this so my assistant who is constantly in training with me all the time I decided let me do a video for my audience and let him redo or do this window on his own he already did the other one on that side over there so he's training and he'll become very good if he pick up on all these tips absorb the water with a rag in your Just do the bottom slowly and remember water is going to keep on running from the top down so later on, keep an eyeball here on this and be doing this so you won't pick up all the sand that might be in there into your film and ruin your perfect installation. There it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, and follow. Have an awesome day. GoPro, stop recording.